Hello and welcome everyone to this week's episode of Quest for the Heart. The last episode of Quest for the Heart? That is the question. So, let's all go around, let's say who we are, who we're playing before I do a little brief recap of last week. Let's start with Deception Check. How are you this evening? Uh, hi, I'm having lighting issues, so it looks like I'm Balan Dan, the emo guy from the dark reaches of space. Um, but no, I'm just Balan Dan the Faceless, uh, the almost emo, not emo, archer rogue, uh, who loves to steal kills from Third Block Dome. Thank you. Thank you. We also have Shiny Pilot with us tonight. How are you? I am doing great. I am playing Phi Tar, the elf fighter. And um, I'm excited to play tonight after having a very delicious dinner. Wonderful. I'm glad you enjoyed the dinner I, I cooked. Uh, someone who hasn't eaten any dinners that I have cooked is D20 Coup de Gras. How are you? <laughs> That's true. Um, I yes, say true I, things. <laughs> I am just uh, doing just fine. Uh, let's see. I will be playing Thornbach Dung tonight. And um, he's a... Uh, a Drugor barbarian, uh, and he really does enjoy ham. Uh, you see, Val, uh, Val is, um, you know, counting how many kills he's stealing, but what he doesn't really know is the whole score is just about how many hams you collect. It's it's ham points. Um, how many ham points does Nagatosaurus have? How are you? That was ambitious. Oh, <laughs> oh God. Just all the ham puns. Um, I'm Nagatosaurus. I'm playing Arcanist Bryce Dalmora, the human blade singing wizard, and she has no ham points because she doesn't like ham. So. My God! But she will never tell. Oh, she's gonna win the Mark game. With, She'll never tell him. <laughs> all right. Well, with that being said, let's uh, have a recap of what happened last week, shall we? Last week, they ascended on some more levels of the tower. They woke up on the seventh level, the Room of Rest, snuggled some sheep, uh, got to a magnificent mansion of Bryce's creation, and um, had a lovely long rest. Followed by the eighth floor, which had some heat going on there, some gibbering mouthers. Uh, it could have been problematic, but they solved it with ease, got the keys, opened the doors and proceeded to the ninth floor. The ninth floor is interesting because the very first public, uh, pub, bleh, what a puzzle. I tried to say mimic and puzzle at the same time and it came out terrible. Um, the very first puzzle that they encountered was which door is not the mimic? Uh, they got it right on the third try and uh, proceeded forward, which they lit some torches in a specific order with specific lights and then did a little bit of a watery trap filled, but they disarmed all the traps puzzles. And now they are in a room <clears throat> with a skeletal giant that is on fire. Um, I will move us to the map so we can all see. Yes, look at that. Wow, what a what a what a room! And I will um, we'll just pick off where we uh, pick up where we left off. And I would like everybody to roll me initiative. And as you do, I will reread what happened, uh, the, the, the box text, so to speak. <clears throat> you have found the helmet on the throne, you grabbed the giant skull from the first room, you slid it on, it was a near perfect fit. And immediately the ancient bones clattered and shook and flew through the rooms to assemble, shaking off all the dust, waking the undead giant skeleton from its undead slumber monstrous thing rose slowly to its feet, glaring down at you all with its eyeless sockets through the mask of the horned helmet, lifted its right hand in it, an axe appeared in the air, pointed to all of you with it, and said, fools, and then burst into flames. All of it, not the axe. Uh, and then, uh, yeah, it's going to, we're going to all attack now, so. Um. It is. Oh, I should also put on more badly music. This is this is very chill I music. Gonna, I'm gonna ask: Is that our initiative from last game, or do we gotta reroll? No, just roll initiative, please. It'll update. Beautiful, beautiful. Giant dang skeleton! Everybody, look out! <laughs> nice. Right. 
right. Just need Val's initiative. I've already I've already changed it. Oh, all right. Thank you, thank you. I was uncertain. Um, and now it looks like Thornbark Dung gets to go first against this mighty giant. Well, I think the proper thing to do is rage. Might be. I like to do that. And then I will hit him. Solid plan of attack. Great axe. 20 does hit. I am recklessly attacking. Beautiful. Just to be 22 clear. 22 will also hit. And I believe that will be the end of my turn. All right. Fight Har. All right. I'm going to summon my shadow. Mm -hmm. Yes. And uh, then I'm going to... Let's see. I can summon him 15 feet. So I'm going to put my shadow basically right here. Okay. The square next to me, but in fighting range. Thank you. If I maneuver without breaking engagement, he's not going to get an opportunity to hit on me, right? That is correct. Okay. I'm going to move my character right here. And then I'm going to uh, command my shadow to attack him three... Correction, four times. Because I'm going to use the shadow's ability... Um, unleash Incarnation. Just basically gets an extra attack. I'm here for it. Okay, so four attacks, two-handed, great sword. First attack. Hopefully, I can hit this dang thing. Twenty-five to hit. Yes. Okay. Fourteen to hit. No, that will miss. Eighteen to hit. That will hit. Two hits. Twenty-five to hit. Yes, that will. Three hit. hits. Okay, rolling for three dice for damage. First one is ten damage. Fourteen damage. And then 10. I accidentally double clicked it. So beautiful. Yep. All right. 10, 14, 10. Anything else you'd like to do? Um, Neil's up. Guys, cut us quick. And that's about it. Valandan, the faceless. Yes. What would you like to I'm do? Going, I'm going to move there. And then I will take my, for my opening three shots. Mm hmm. Um, um uh, 16 16 is the magic number perfect okay that would be um 11 damage all right plus um three force all right and my second attack uh this is this one's gonna be sharpshooter mm -hmm. uh 20 yes all right that is 18 damage Beautiful. plus one force and I'll take my uh, sneak attack on this one for 26 sneak attack. Ooh, nice. And then my dread ambusher attack. Uh, I'm going to go sneak. I'm going to go sharpshooter on that as well. Okay. Which was a poor idea, but that would have been a 14. Mm. 14 will unfortunately miss. Yes. It's a good thing you used to attack on the last one. I, I don't. Yes. All right. This the giant looks... Uh, well, you would say it would look bloodied if it had blood, but it looks... Its bones don't look very happy. Um, But it's its turn. Oh, and I see a beautiful... Beautiful thing, I think. Yes. You no, you wanna, don't. There's no I beauty do. here. No, there's, I see... There's ugliness. I see a beautiful thing. Um, I have options, you see, but I think I like this option the best. And by option, you mean you're choosing between our beautiful wizard and beautiful fighter, right? Um, I don't have to. No, I don't have to at all. Um. Oh no. It's going to hurl a lightning strike for its action. Rather than doing two attacks, it's going to... Do a magical lightning. Oh, wait, that's not a line. It's 10 feet. Do I want to do that still? Ah, yeah, sure. I'll point it right here. Boom, everything within 10 feet. That'll get one bark, dung, and thigh. Can I have you make me dexterity saving throws, please? As it summons a lightning bolt. Ah, 
I rolled a 23. 23 is a success. Also a success. Wonderful. You will only take half of this damage then. No, no. Is that right? That seems like a lot of dice. Oh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> uh huh. Uh huh. You are pretty Half hard of over. that. Ow. Half of half of that you will take. Ow. Ow. So that would be twenty. Twenty-eight. Six. No. Sorry, I'm mentally. Yes, twenty-eight. Yeah. Math. But I take half of that. Yeah, because it's lightning. Well, because I'm raging. And, yeah. yeah. I wasn't sure which totem you'd picked, so. Definitely bear. Bear. <laughs> That's a solid choice. All right. Now, does does this attack hit my shadow? Are you within ten feet? Let's see if he's within ten feet. I don't think so. Oh, it does. Okay, then he he poofs away, but I'm gonna summon him back. So. That's fine. We'll just leave him there to know that he will be summoned back. I'll just put okay. a little Is little he poop. Is he what? He might be unaffected by area of effect spells. I don't know. I thought it was any damage. Hang on a sec. He only has he has a 19 AC and he only has one hit point. Let me see. Sorry. Yes, you you keep reading and we'll I'll go read to it. Arcanist Bryce Dilmora. Um, I am going to. Hmm. It does seem like you said he looks bloodied. Yeah, if he had blood, he would look. He would look bloodied. Okay. <sighs> Shoot, I'm just gonna told. Nah. I'm gonna ray of frost it. Okay. Hit it with ray of frost. So that is a 19 to hit. A 19 will hit. Awesome. For 12 cold damage. Your Ray of Frost hits, and you don't think it's quite as effective as it normally would be. Shit. Okay. Um, then I'm also going to move... Closer to everyone else? No. <laughs> okay. I just, you know, I had to ask, is all. I'm gonna move, uh, this is like a doorway here, right? Is the, yes. is the door still open? Yes. Okay, I'm just gonna kind of stand in the doorway. All right, you stand in the turn. doorway. Thornbark Dung, we're back up to you. I want your axe. Chop. That will hit. Chop again. Okay. That will also hit. Uh, I'm just going to dance. Unhappy. Around. Dance around. Right. <laughs> <laughs> you dance around. Yep. Well Anything else you'd like to do? Just the dance. I want to just jump on his throne and be like, I'm on your throne. All right. Beautiful. Fight hard. Does it count as flanking? <laughs> yeah. um, this is a I'll bonus action. Huge creature. I'll bonus action summon my uh, Phi Echo again. Yep. yep. On and uh, he and I are... Well, actually, I'll have him there. I'm going to have the Shadow make one attack. I'm going to make two attacks. Okay. Um... I'm going to try a move to see if it does it. One of my attacks is going to be because I have a Asheron Blade Greatsword. Okay. It's a disheartening strike. Ooh. If I hit a creature, you can fill the target with Unsettling Dread, and it has advantage on the next saving throw it makes before the end of my next turn. It immunes it if it's immune to frightened conditions. I don't know if it is or not, but I'm trying. Um, there we go. So, two attacks from me. Mm-hmm. Um... 27 to hit. That'll hit. And 16 to hit. Uh, so that's magic number. It hits? Okay, cool. Yes. And then one hit. from my shadow is a 20. So three yes. hits. Okay, damage number one is 11 damage. Plus 11 damage. And 8 damage. So All 20 right. 30 damage total. Okie dokie. 
So um, did the effect seem to do anything? To what the is the effect? Does it, does it just happen or does it have to make a save? What is it? When you uh, hit the creature with the attack of this weapon, you can fill the target with dread. And the target is has disadvantage on the next saving throw it makes before the end of the next nope, turn. No, it of my takes next effect. Turn. It takes okay, effect. Cool. It's disadvantage on its next saving throw. Valentine. Until my turn. <laughs> yes. Well, um, bonus action, steady aim. And I will make a shot at uh, the dead guy. Okay. Uh, and he's our sharpshooter. All right. Uh, ni 19. That will hit. Okay. All right, that is 18. Um, four force. And 20 a sneak attack. Ooh, he does not look happy. On the first, on the second shot, also sharpshooter. Nope, doesn't make it. Okay. Ooh, he's very, he doesn't look well. Um, That's my turn. Oh, he gets one more turn before you kill him. That's so kind of you. Um, let's see. Let's see if he gets his fancy thing back. Oh, he does not. He doesn't get his thing. But, so I guess he'll just swing his his sword at Fi and Thornbark Dung. One swing each you get. All right. Okay. Me or my shadow, though? Um, me? You're it the one with be, the fancy fine. sword effect, so yeah. you know, okay. he's like, I didn't get scared until after you hit me. So he's gonna <laughs> go based off of that effect. So this one's a thorn bark dung. Does a 25 hit you? All right. Uh, does have advantage also. Just oh, I'm sorry. I know a 28 hits fine. Let's see if this is a... yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, no crit, but a hit for each of you. No. Oh. All right. Okay. And it's all psychic damage. It's all slashing damage. 27 for you, Thornbark Dung. And 36 for you, Fi. Ooh. Ooh, ow. Ooh, as this <laughs> massive sword swings twice. Arcanist by Stillmora, this skeleton is barely holding itself together. What do you do? Um, I'm gonna, uh, can I make it 5, 10, 15, 20, 20, I'm gonna go there, and I'm okay. gonna chalk and grasp it, I guess? I am here for it. Ugh, for 12 to hit. 12 will unfortunately not hit. Yep. Okay, um... Damn, that sucks. Okay. Uh, else then. Like to do? No, I'm just gonna move back to where I was, and I have the mobile feet, so. You can't, they don't get can't to talk about yep. maternity. Yeah. Very nice. Very wise for you, young, yep. uh, young mage. Ah, uh, yes. Thornbark Dung. Skeletons. Wickety rackety, click -cl clickety clackety. What do you do? Oh, run up his spine and chop off his head. Okay, show me that run that maneuver, please. Uh, yeah. How do you? How far does this head fly when you re release it from its shoulders? Um, not far, cause I grab it and put it on. Oh, beautiful! I, you take the helmet off and put it on, or the yeah. head? The whole head. The whole head. The whole head <laughs> with the helmet, and you ride the clatter of bones down to the ground. No. Of what? Where is this place? It's just tower. It's in the gnarly woods. I'm the king of towers. <laughs> Congratulations, Thorn, on your uh, promotion. Good, good job. You slayed us. Slayed of bones him. And armor. You deserve that. Good job. So, what are you going to do now, your lord? Um, go higher. Go higher, as you command, my lord. And kind of, you know, fun gesturing. Yeah, you really shouldn't. Don't don't play into his delusions. 
It's what? bad enough for the ham thing. I mean, come on. I think he makes a great king. Don't you? Because he says to his Echo. <laughs> Echo's like, uh-huh. <laughs> come on, Val. He makes a great king. Yeah. As, as they walk away, I start digging through the bones for anything interesting. <laughs> uh, give me an investigation check. Sure, I'd be perfectly happy to give you an investigation check. Oh, that was so close to a 20. Uh, no, that that's going to be... Um, actually, do do I have... Oh, I'm proficient in that, so that's actually going to be a 13. A 13. Um, you dig through, and you find a potion. Ooh. Potion? Yes. Nice. It's transparent, and it has a fragment of fingernail floating around in it. It lights your bones on fire. Mm. <laughs> hey, um... Bryce. <laughs> I, 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 I found this uh, potion. You want to take a look at it? Or you want to? Sure. I'll it's got a, a fingernail in it. I don't know that anybody want to really drink it, but here. There you go. Can I see if I can tell what kind of potion this is? Um, You can give me an arcana chick. A potion of funky feet. I think that's what it's going to be, right? Be. Funky, funky yeah. feet potion. 19. The 19, you don't know for certain which specific type it is, but you believe this is a potion of giant strength. You'd have to identify it to know. You're not an expert on giant toenail clippings, so you don't know which variety right. of giant, but it is a potion of giant. Makes sense. Um, I'll hand it back. It's uh, it's just a, pi a just a pirate, just a potion. <laughs> Jesus. Just a potion of a uh, giant strength. I don't quite know which one though. So, uh, Bye. Have to wait. Uh, thank yes. you. Yes. Here, take it. I T toss the potion. Well, hey, what? what it, is it'll this? make you stronger. Stronger. Yeah, just make sure you get the toenail in. If you don't get the toenail, you don't get anything out of it. it makes you weaker. Are you sure this wouldn't be better for Thorn? Have off, you off. seen his muscles? I mean, <laughs> come on now. Yeah, but we could make him like a gargantuan muscle-bound god. I just thought I gave it to the person who needed it the most. All right, we just go over there. Oh, <laughs> you wounded me, Yikes. sir. Oh, come on. I was giving you something. Oh, I mean, fine. it's your birthday coming up in the next year, right? It is my birthday. <laughs> I see? I'm glad you remembered. I, I knew it was sometime like that. <laughs> well, thank you. you. You can come to the party now. Thank you. Well, uh, I mean, I was going to be there anyway, but, you know, <laughs> thanks. Now I don't have to sneak in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so potion of giant strength? Yes. A of Got a type of giant strength. A type of giant strength. Got it. Don't know which giant. It's a I giant. mean, it could be, like, six on a 20, or it could be a plus two. Who knows? It's like gambling. How strong will you be? <laughs> yeah, you know you get strong, but how strong is the question? All right, so uh, strong as me. I don't see a heart here. Like literally, this guy has no skin <laughs> or intestines or other organs. No heart. I Door. Don't. I don't quite think this is a place. Do you just All push right. open the door? Door. You push it open. And you see a bright, glowy shimmer to walk through, as most of the doors have been in this place. Hmm. Hard to see what's beyond this bright shimmer. Ham. Hot? Ham. Um. Ham. <laughs> Harm. <laughs> Fine. Bell <laughs> runs through. All right, you run through. Um, you find yourself in a tiny room with red brick walls, a solid black stone floor, and two doors. One of the doors, which is highly decorated, is on the northern wall on the opposite side of the room, just ten feet away. Um, there is a little circular socket inlaid in the door where something disc-shaped can be inserted, probably about the size of a dinner plate. 
um, a big, like, a serving platter, really. Uh, the second door is a plain but heavy-looking black iron door located on the left side of the wall. There does not appear to be anything else. Hmm. Does that look like the plate that, you know, we used to get through another door? We had to you had to do a whole plate thing or a ball or something earlier. Mm-hmm. Is it the same? Like, but is it the same size oh. as the one we used before? Or is it bigger, no. small? The bigger, oh, okay. The last one was this big. This one's like this big. Is it like Ooh. giant head big? Like we need to stuff his head in there? No, no. It looks like it's got like grooves and things specific. Like a okay. gear. Kind of, but more, more like a. Highly a decorated disc. Maybe something I'm gonna go over to the back door it. while everybody else walks mm-hmm. in. And I want to check it for traps and other in sundry sure dangerous thing. things. Yeah. Give me give me an investigation check. Oh yeah, I forgot I hadn't actually walked in yet. <laughs> <laughs> Already asking questions. Uh that's another thirteen. Here's to be fine. Not completely. It's even unlocked. I hate you. <laughs> what do you mean? I open the door before anyone else gets killed when I open the door. Okay, you open the door and you see a dark, narrow hallway uh, in front of you. It's only about five feet wide and it goes down probably about 30 feet and it turns slightly slightly to the right. It, cu- it curves. I was going to say something that yeah, I'm going to be quiet now. All right, so um, <laughs> anyone else come into the room yet? Um, Bryce, Fi would be coming in at this point. I mean, if, uh, nobody else wanted to. Took you guys long enough. What? I, I was looking at the potion bottle. I mean, come on, it's a nice present. Mesmerizing, isn't it? That, yeah. that clear fluid and the fingernail just popping around in there. Like, what giant gave it up? Yeah. I mean, you it's can, almost you kind of alive these things. looking in there. It's wiggling it like does, a worm. It, yeah, I mean, maybe it is. Ooh, maybe it is. You're not supposed to swallow anything whole. Could are you? be like a stone giant's toenail, and those guys are just nasty. Mm. Could be a hill giant. Oh, I enter at this point. <laughs> okay, yeah. You what do we see? Enter, and they're talking about toenails. Ooh. All right. Well, now you guys in here. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna sneak down this hallway right here, the dark, foreboding one that's real long, mm-hmm. narrow, and a little bit curved at the end. Yeah, I'm gonna go down that one. We. Does anyone go right. with with Val, or is Val just go <laughs> off by himself? Well, I'm, I'm not, still thing, so... Yeah, not if he tells us that he's gonna okay. scout ahead. All right. Yep. Okay, I have 30. Stealth. Perfect. Beautiful stealth check. Yep, I head down the I head, head down the hallway. If you're, oh, uh, there is actually a hallway. There you go. Um, All right, let me know I'm when being... you go down the hallway, but right now it's just Val. Let's see. Well, the Might seems in the place clear. where the hallway is. Yeah, you're in the hallway. Okay. It's labeled hallway. Okay. Because, you know, the part that I'm in looks like a cavern, not a hallway. It Well, it's you're at the end of the hallway. They don't have oh, okay. a map for the entire hallway. This is the end of the hallway. Okay, so when I look over here and see this large pile of gold with a dragon on it, is there a real dragon on top of a large pile of gold? Um, you do see a large dragon. You can give me a perception check to see if it's a, a real dragon and a real pile of gold. Oh, come on now. All right. that, that I, Well, I can't get lower than a 22 anyway, so 22. Uh, you, you do see the rise and fall of a dragon breathing as it sleeps on this pile of gold. And you also notice it has a collar around its neck. A large, circular, ornate disc. Oh, okay. All right. Well, I'm going to backtrack quietly like I am, mm-hmm. you know. And I'm going to go back into the other room. And I, I get down get at the end of the hallway. All right, guys, it's fun time now. <laughs> we got a dragon on a horde, and he's got the thing on his neck. Now, either Whoa. he's friendly, and we can talk to him and have a new friend, or we get to kill the dragon. Woohoo! Whoa, wait, wait, you're talking a real dragon. It's not like a statue, right? No, this was breathing. Unless the statue it, it, was made to breathe. What What did you say about the neck? Oh, he's got a collar. And on the collar is a thing that looks like the thing we need to open the other door. Oh, I hope it's I not see. a fashion statement. I mean, it is pretty stylish, to be honest with you. Well, you know, if it's friendly, cool and all, but if he's somebody pet, you know. Look, ain't nothing in here been friendly to us. They're all going to die. But, I mean, you know? I will let a dragon live if he wants to be pals. I love dragons. Well, I'd like to leave one alone, too, but, that's, you know. 
also not entirely true. We've had several things that were friendly to us in here. Oh, so maybe I, I don't. I do not count. Maybe the Thorn. No, can those things are creepy. The, also, the unicorn. Oh yeah. Uh, oh look, 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 look. Yeah, okay. What, what solved that? That unicorn. It was ham. Maybe Thorn ham? could give a ham to the dragon. <laughs> and he'll be friendly to us. So okay, or, or either he ham comes. He becomes a flame world thorn. Can I do like an intelligence check or something to sure. see what I know about dragons? And oh, you said color? it was specific. Can yeah, I tell what, what color it was when I saw it? Um, it looked black. Oh no. It looked black. It looked I mean, black. it could be it could be ebony. I mean, it could be dark blue, maybe cobalt. Looks, I mean, maybe. It, 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 dark vision does only show shades of black and white. So well, well, yeah. I mean, but still. So, it was I literally dark. Shatter it was really, I live in the dark. It was really dark dragon okay it's a really dark dragon it wasn't I mean, maybe a white he's dirty dragon. He, he, maybe he hasn't had a bath in a while and he just needs Could to be, be cleaned up oh, he looks pretty that's shiny. an an 18 intelligence an check 18 intelligence check um are, do you, are you proficient in nature at all by any chance or history rice no okay because if i was i was going to give you your proficiency as well if you had a history or nature but no so <laughs> Dragons, 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 dragons. Uh, you do know that the chromatic dragons are typically less friendly, uh, generally a lot less friendly than the uh, metallic dragons. I was like, what's the opposite of chromatic? Uh, I, I'm um, proficient in nature. Can I? Can I be thinking yeah. about this too? Sure thing. Okay. Give me a check. I rolled a twenty-eight. A twenty-eight. Okay, so a natural twenty plus eight. Oh, a natural 20 plus 8. All right, so I'll go through Bryce first, and then I'll add details for Val. Okay. So, we're, we're chatting about it right now. Yeah, yeah, We're going yeah. back and forth. You, Brainstorming. Thinking, generally speaking, metallic dragons are known to be the friendly ones. Um, although you do know that sometimes uh, you can find not as aggressive chromatic dragons, um, but generally they are more of the um, attack first or bite first, ask questions later, whereas that might not be the case for the, the metallic. Um, black dragons, you know, are uh, use acid. That's their, their whole shtick. Their streams of acid. Uh, very deadly. Um, based on what Val has told you, Val, you would probably realize that this dragon has been here a long time. You might even guess that this dragon is an adult or ancient. Probably actually you got in at 20. It's probably an ancient black he's dragon. He's damn big. He's big. Okay. He's really big. An ancient black dragon. Um, And you also, with your nat 20, because I know this is 5th edition. It doesn't guarantee success, but I'm going to give you some freebies because whatever. Oh, yeah. DM Fiat. Yeah. Real cool. Um, You know that sometimes it, you've heard stories, you've heard tale about certain creatures being able to make deals with or keep dragons as pets. Um, you read a story once about Duragar that used a red dragon to keep the flames of their forge alight. You've read tale of uh, liches and draco liches, or liches and sometimes other kinds yeah, of dragons. Yeah, I heard that tale. Then a whole bunch of dipshits got in there and ruined it for everybody. Yeah, I know, I know. It was, it was, Burnt the it was whole a town cautionary, down. Cautionary tale. Cautionary tale. My grandpappy told me about that one. It was yeah. it was crazy. <laughs> um, I didn't believe it until he showed me the ruins. But I was like, holy shit, they really did it. Oh my God. <laughs> um, this one, you do also know that dragons aren't particularly one for accessories. Um in their dragon forms so the fact that this one has what appears to be a collar or a necklace with this large pendant on it you are going to assume that someone made a deal with this dragon or is the owner of this dragon and that this dragon is there to guard something in there possibly even the key um you know that they use acid damage they're immune to acid they're very perceptive. Um, wing attacks, acid breaths, scary presence, typical works. Um, you do think that um, since it is sleeping, it would be easier to sneak up on than if it was awake. That's going to be 
let's think it's what you get out of this chick. Okay. This is a big bad. Uh, he might not like being down here. He also might be hungry. So, I mean, I can go in there. I'm pretty much invisible in darkness. Now, I don't know how well his senses are. He could probably smell me or something like that. But I might be able to try and chat with him first. Um, If he speaks, you know, Elvish or something fun it, like that. If he's asleep. Sorry, go ahead. You want? No, you. What think- are you going to say, Thorn? I was just going to say, can you sneak in and just grab the key? If he's asleep, yeah. I mean, he seems like he's asleep, but that puts me real damn close to uh, big bitey teeth, stinky acid things. So, I mean, I'm good, but I'm probably a pretty good snack, too. Hmm. I mean, that's what the girl's done at the court. Oh, never mind. What... So, okay, explain to me the layout. We are in like a hallway right oh, now. Okay, I can tell you what, because I, I got, you, you go in there, uh, when you get to the end of the hallway, after the long, narrow hallway with the little tiny turn at the end, that little tiny turn puts you out in a cavern. And ahead okay. of you is a, a bunch of like stalactites with stalagmites and, and other rock formations and things kind of in the middle. And it opens up around the sides. And then on the back side of those, you got a big pile of gold like a big pile of gold and a big dragon sitting on top of it. That's all I really saw. Once I saw dragon, it was like high tail back out here. So Thorne didn't come running and going, ham and we fight. Right. Okay. Um, I could. What level is that? Okay. Did I just miss it? What the heck? Uh, sorry, I'm looking at my spells. You uh, are okay. fine. Four. So, at eight, um, I could... I have a way of making somebody, like, invisible invisible, or I could make myself invisible come with you, and then I could, you know, very quickly get us 500 feet away from the dragon. All right. Well, I mean, I'm I'm pretty quick too. You know, being in my profession means running away from people half the time. Um, I mean, I to be completely honest, we I, I think that we have two choices. We either go in there and just blow shit up, spread out, but blow shit up, or I or I can just run in there and try my best and um, try not to die. I and when you hear me gonna... screaming, you guys come in and blow shit up. I, I think I think perhaps um, running in there might be the best bet. And then if need be, we could go in and fuck shit up. All right. All right. Well, okay. All right. So uh, if you don't hear from me in like two minutes, I want a nice funeral, okay? <laughs> all right. All right. Best. I'm going to roll stealth again. I'll bring right. it. Do you turn him invisible, Rice? Yes. Okay. Yes. I'm going to cast greater invisibility on him. Okay. You okay. will roll invis- uh, stealth with advantage. I already had advantage. Okay. Well, there you go. Makes it extra, extra. Yeah. All right. Oh, worst possible sets of rolls there. Okay. Um, what are they? The lowest the lowest I could get with reliable talent is 25, but okay. I have to take That's a 25. That's still really good. Yeah, um, I, but it, I mean, it's not ancient dragon good. <laughs> I needed a 30 or something going in there, man. Now I'm worried. He's asleep. I'm wor- It's a freaking ancient dragon. <laughs> it is. It I needed really a 30 is. to be comfortable about this. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> all right. All right. Well, I'm I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and try and sneak up on Mr. Mm-hmm. Dur- Durgan. All right. Yeah. I remember sleeping does take five away from passive perception. Oh, I know. <laughs> I, that's, I, I've taken it into account. I'm, I'm really concerned right now. Now, I'm watching him like a hawk, all right? And and I am literally invisible even without the spell in darkness. Yes, and this room is completely dark. All right. I'm looking to see if there's anything else in here. Like another, Oh, it's just, a, it's, a, it's just his bed. Damn it. All right. <laughs> All right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna climb up there, get right next to him. Okay. 
and I want to try and take. I want to try and pick the lock on the necklace and take the thing. Okay. Can you give me a thieves' tools check? Okay. Slide of hand. Yes, a sleight of hand check. Okay. Uh, lowest I could roll is a twenty-five. I need. I would like you to roll it. Twenty-six. Twenty-six is the number you needed. <laughs> Yikes! You you leave the you realize the trick is probably to leave the collar on. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And since it's sleeping, the weight of the thing is on the pile of gold. So I just so, have to pick it up. Just it didn't yeah. drop. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. You, you you get the. It's kind of difficult. You gotta like bend a little bit. Uh, you gotta wedge it because it's big links to hold this big disc. But you you get it. Damn it. You have it in your hands, the dragon. Okay, I am not gonna walk away from here right now. What I'm gonna do? Yes. Is I'm gonna use one of my uh, blessings of the Raven Raven Queen mm-hmm. to disappear into shadow and reappear 30 feet away okay. giving me resistance on all damage <laughs> and then I'm gonna run okay do you run or do you stealth oh no no I'm I'm stealth and I'm okay I had to, I had to ask half, half speed actually I honestly I think I can run still and not um I think that's one of my Just things want to be certain you know let, let me let me double check before I say you know because right. I'm still <laughs> I haven't played this guy but like three or four times, so you know it's the, the uh, GM yes. paranoia is kicking in. <laughs> oh hell, it's ancient dragon, baby! It's, oh, I know, scary. I know, I'm there with you. All right, all right. Uh, and I reread this ancient dragon stat block thoroughly today. I wouldn't be forgetting anything. <laughs> all right, I, I guess I read that somewhere else. No, I, I walk very carefully and very, very quietly. quietly. The big disc. With the big disc, it's like a out of platter. the room. Like a, yep. like a turkey Thanksgiving, like but old fashioned, like the silver kind of oh, thing. Oh yeah, it's yeah. It's got a filigree. Mm-hmm. Oh, those are nice. I don't. Until I you got to clean it with all the turkey yeah, yeah. grease on it the next day, it's just oh, that's not fun. It's been just about two yeah, minutes, and you see Val come around the corner with a big shiny. We we don't see Val. We just see, see a big, big shiny plate. <laughs> <laughs> big shiny. <laughs> oh my gosh, the dragon's coming! Oh, no, never mind, it's Val. <laughs> well, hi, I got it. Just barely. Ooh, that's wow. scary in there. I was just about to come in and yeah. take a look for you. You could have like right. walked into his nostril. He's a big boy. Yeah, he's a big boy. Now I will say oh, there boy. is a lot of gold in there. It ain't like, worth gold. It. Like he is a big boy, and he's got an even boy. bigger bed. How much? Uh, how much gold are we talking about? Oh, maybe about okay. If you imagine a dragon bed, that's about fifty feet wide. And about fifty feet tall, and just dragging on it. So what you're saying is, is the edge of the bed would be within reach, but not be detectable to grab some points. I, I, I mm-hmm. pro- you know, it was like I could... thirty by fifty-five. The, the, the okay, I was just spit, I'm trying to. I'm, but the, but then I'm trying you're to exaggerate. On top. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all right, let me just say this, Faye. If you go in there after some fucking gold, I am not coming in to help. Like you're assuming that no. wake the dragon. Let's <laughs> let's get the heart, okay? We uh, came here for the heart. We can have dragon pets when we're done, okay? I want the gold. You can. Have I want. Pet. Look, if you get the, if you make the dragon your pet, you get the gold with it. All right. Oh, genius! You get ancient dragon pet, which he's already aim amenable to. I mean, he's already someone's <laughs> pet or friend. So if we just give him a better deal. I mean, Unless come on now. No, okay. I think you I would look really... Willing. You convinced me we should talk to this Valandan dragon after. Valandan the Faceless Dragon Rider. I would Fine. look hot on the back of a dra- <laughs> black dragon, all right? Yep. I, I don't yep. think anybody would be able to see you because you'd be so tiny compared to the dragon. You know what? Don't matter. When I land and slide off, they'd be like, oh my God, look at, th- look at Val, the dragon rider. I, I, I don't think they'd be looking at a pers- person. They'd be looking at the ancient fucking dragon. Right, right. And then he's going to you know, he's gonna be my pal. I'll give him a high five. He gives me a high five. We melt the town and we're fine. Any high five from an ancient dragon would just crush you instantly. Look, he's my buddy. He's not trying. To, <laughs> never mind. You take all the fun out of things, Bryce. <laughs> Damn it! I don't want it was an ancient dragon pal. I mean, come well, on. Well, we could still be pals. Let's talk afterwards. All right, right. let's go get the heart. We'll go afterwards, get the heart. Puts the thing in the wall. And then you put the thing in, and it turns. 
And then... It lowers into the floor. And you see stairs that lead up. I didn't even go to the door. That's sneaky. Look at that. Didn't even try the other door. Should we check the other door? Nah, let's just go up the stairs. That ain't. I don't hear anybody. <laughs> I mean, I look. Bryce says she's the leader. I don't Sorry, hear my leg, anything. Sorry, my leg was itching. It sounds great. Let's do it. Oh, okay. Fine. I mean, don't want to in- 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 inconvenience you, Fi. But you know what? This bug bite from traipsing through that forest is really inconveniencing. Oh, that's fair. That's fair. <laughs> All right. Dang fire ants. Fair. <laughs> All right. Let's just head up the stairs. I head up the stairs. Okay. You head up the stairs. And as you get up there, you see there is a circular room. Spiral staircase goes up. And in the circular room... You see that there are ten archways, just around, like a, like a like an inner circle around the side of the big circle that is the room, and inside, on a crumbling pedestal, in the exact center of the circular room, which 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 emits a faint greenish blue. It alternates colors: green, blue, red, purple. Very faintly, you see. A book and a necklace. On this this pe- this pedestal looks like it was at least chest high at some point, and now it's about knee height and it's just crumbled. And you don't see large chunks as if something had broken this. It's almost as if there's a pile of dust on the floor around it, as if it's just eroded away with time. Or people touched it, turned to salt, and fell into a pile. Something like that question yes Answer. the light the, the changing light is it coming from the book and the necklace no it's just ambient light in the room Am- okay 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 all right that's out of heart book necklace no. do you get maybe closer the book tells us how to wear the necklace to get the heart i wear the necklace you pick what? up the necklace the necklace is very intricate and delicate um, the chain work on it and it ends in a crystal heart about this big look it has a heart on it I I mean I, you know the heart's been gone longer than we've been alive uh, is is this it do we I mean, know we don't know we don't even no know what really the answer looks, looks like we have no fucking like, clue Jesus. Um, uh, <laughs> this is what they call a red herring <laughs> you want, um, but when you pick it up, Thorn, it starts to glow a faint Ooh. red. Yes, like, and it gets brighter and brighter and explodes. Yes. <laughs> Not yet, at least. Um, and Bryce, you said you wanted to get closer as well to look? Yeah, I think I'll go up with Thorn. Okay. I'm scouting around the outside of the room. Sure, just it's on things. very dusty in here. Yes, yes, Bryce? Does the book look like a wizard spell book? This is what the book looks like. Book of Vile Darkness, maybe? Uh. Because I know Bryce would read that in a heartbeat. I have to reload. Nothing is no. working for me. No, I want it to work for you. The Arn, what'd you find? Ooh, a heart. Necklace. That's kind of small for a heart. Small heart. Wow. It feels warm and comforting when you small hold heart. it. Comforting. Like a ham? Yes. Like ham, less edible. Yes, it does give you that feeling. Have you I tried think- eating it yet? I still don't. See it. You still don't see it? Okay, well, under the handouts, <laughs> there's a mysterious book which should be um, in everyone's journals, so. Oh, Oop. mysterious book in everyone. Oh, Jesus Christ. Yeah, I don't fucking touch that thing. No oh, way. <laughs> yes, you do. <laughs> Hell you know no. You want it. No. Are you sure? You don't want to, you don't want to touch the book? I, I don't want to touch it. I mm. touch the book and give you it. You touch the book. Thorn bark dung. 
wisdom saving throw. <laughs> as as he goes to touch the book, can I like take the heart out of his hand? I mean, if he if, if he lets you, otherwise you can do well, like a, a check for if it. He, if he'll allow me. I need okay. Notes for this. Okay. Um, hold on. I thought I pulled up all my notes, but I didn't. Oh, so sad. There it is. Ah, oh, yes. Mm. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Yes, beautiful. Um, so... You... touch the book. And, um... It's... It feels very dark. You get... You get a feeling of... of a bit of evil... emanating from it. Maybe some some vile darkness, perhaps. Bad book! I knew it! And you found the I'm necklace, just gonna... right? Just... Like, dra- the chain was draped over it, and it was laying, like, right next to it. As if someone had lovingly laid it atop of the book. Hmm. Bad book. Good heart. What do we do? Can I... So... Mm. I have the heart in my hand, right? Yes, yes you do. Can I make a... Um, arcana of check to see... Of course you can. Be, because it's been sitting on top of this book of vile yes. darkness. And can I will I give you... the heart has been corrupted. Advantage is what I'm looking for. On this. Oh, okay. I'm specifically looking to see if it's been corrupted. Uh, where? Okay. Uh, Archon, come on. Advantage. So I rolled twice. That is a 26 and a 27. So 27. 27. You get the feeling that this necklace isn't corrupted by the book, but is connected to the book. And as you're holding it, and you actually have magic ability, mm. you feel drawn. And it glows a little bit brighter. You hold it. It's got it the faint red, now it's a little bit brighter. And it, and it starts to swing, like, when you hold a necklace, and it starts to, like, pull in a direction as if, like, you had a magnet. It's pulling towards one of the archways. Interesting. Okay. Which Rather, a archway? section on the wall behind one of the archways. Okay. And there's ten, right? There's ten, ten archways. Of them. Correct. It's connected to the book. Mm-hmm. And it's and it and it's tugging towards one of the archways. I will follow it. Into the archway. You approach the archway, and as soon as, like, how are you holding the the, the necklace? Uh, it's a loop, right? So I've got it like wrapped around my hand, mm-hmm. kind of. Well, you go up to it, and the light goes from the necklace, and whoosh, creates a shimmer in that archway, like a portal. Like a portal. Great. We going through. And you can see a hazy image through this portal, and it looks like it's covered in webs. It reminds you of that dream snippet you had. Yeah. Yeah. I'm gonna step through. You step through, and it, it won't let you. Won't let me. Okay, I hold my hand out to Thorn and say, Can I see the book for a moment, please? Bad book. I I know, but we've got to get the heart and it won't let me through, so. I will take Take the book book and the heart in hand. You take it and the the hazy shimmer, the hazy red shimmer clears so that it's only a hazy red shimmer around the border now. Okay. Then I step through. You are able to step through. And you find yourself in a, an interesting place. 
It appears to be some type of old castle, perhaps? Looks abandoned. Okay. You see some part of a stone wall is crumbled in its nighttime. You can see some stars up through. And you see so many spider webs. Little spiders, bigger spiders. And when you enter and you're holding the necklace and the book, a bunch of spiders crawl out from crevices and corners under old pieces of rotting and dilapidated furniture, and they form like pathway for you to follow. I will follow. And is I don't think Bryce Bryce even even looks to see if anybody's following her. I was going she to just ask, is anyone following Bryce? Yeah. As, as soon as as soon as Bryce goes to the uh, the archway, Val tries to. Mm -hmm. Lots of spiders. You're able to go through no problem. I just I follow behind Bryce without saying a word. I'm following what, her. What about her lead. and Thornbark Dung? I follow behind, but I do say a word. Um. Bryce <laughs> <laughs> just goes through. <laughs> All right, you go through, and again, so many spiders. This would never pass code in any cities today. There's too many, just just a den of spiders. Um, mm. Big spiders, little spiders, spiders that theoretically shouldn't be living together. Um, you see tarantulas with daddy long legs, with little jumping Cat spiders. Cat spiders, dog spiders. Cat spiders, dog spiders, just, it's chaos. Um, hey. God. And they <laughs> crawl down and again try to guide via a, a clear path. They scuttle out of your way into the sides, create a border, and they follow you. The ones behind you, the path closes off and they follow. I don't they like lead, this. They lead you down a series of stairs through some hallways. You seem to be moving out of a wing of an old castle. And then you enter into a once grand ballroom. The chandelier chandelier is long. It would you'd think it'd be fallen to the ceiling if not for the thick spider webs holding it aloft. You cannot see the ceiling of this ballroom. You don't know how tall it is, but you can tell off the floor, the intricate marble patterns and inlays that it must be a ballroom and the sheer size of this chamber. And there are a few candles a light in this room. And you see a shadow, a large, very large spidery shadow move across the webs. Then you hear a voice. Well, look at that. I do declare. Oh, no. This is a mighty fine sight for sore eyes. And descending on like a swing made out of webs from the center of this room is a lady, very curvy, bright red hair. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She walks up, she goes, well, it's been ages since I've been back home. What a welcome. Oh, I'm terribly sorry. <laughs> I haven't introduced myself, though. It seems you know why you're here, and she gestures to the to the items you're holding, Bryce. So nice of you to fetch my book for me. Am I this? Um... You can call me Roxy. Oh! <laughs> but I'm better known as to your organization, I believe, as the heart. The rumors of such. You're the heart. I am the hut, and she makes uh, she, a gesture towards all of mm. you, and all of your guild emblems, Bryce, your ring, necklace, pendant, pin, whatever you have, uh, shake and reveal their true selves. Uh-oh. I... The we heart were... cracks oh. and separates. And you see a green eye. Ooh. What the fuck? <laughs> oh, 
Oh, well, right, my little cultist of Vecna. It's so nice of you to greet me here. The Maybe. what? <laughs> We're the who? Okay, does Bryce no. recognize that name? Oh, you've heard of Vecna. He is like this, you know, lich wannabe god who yeah. has been stopped from a set. The last he was seen or heard from was several hundred years ago. You know, now that you think about it, it was around the time when you lost the heart. Um, yep. It was around that time as he, when he tried to become a god and some heroes stopped him. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yep. <sighs> so... Uh, see, see th th this isn't... That... Ma'am, this isn't what? a cult. We are a mercenary organization that does work for good or ill, depending oh, I on what it is. It. Cults need to do what they can to survive trying times, especially after our de dear lord was temporarily vanquished by Sir Tomb, Mickey, oh, and a few others. Sir Tomb's the worst one. He will be. Nah, I, I'm sorry. I, I don't. I don't believe. Like, see, I've not done any culty things. I'm, I'm more straight, kind of like just mercenary. You don't have to do culty things. The heart is the colloquial, colloquial term for the high priestess of Vecna. I have a question. I have an answer. <laughs> when we joined the guild, yes, did we sign like a contract or yes. something? Yes, yes, you did. Fuck. <laughs> Why did we not get to see those contracts before we started this game? <laughs> because I, I of the plot like, yeah. twist. <laughs> see, I feel like we've been bamboozled. I, a we've bit we've here. been bamboozled here. <laughs> I knew I was <laughs> doing <laughs> And this is why I wanted you to run this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Does anyone Can else I... feel like we should just turn around right now and leave? No! Yes, We're here. Absolutely. We did, we did good. No, absolutely. no. We've done very well. We need to kill something means to get you... the heart. So let's kill the something and get the heart. Can oh. I make an insight check to see if she's lying or oh, you, may, this you may make an insight check with advantage. Oh, Jesus Christ. I have a plus zero. So a natural 20. Um, she is being completely truthful. The High Priestess of Vecna is known as the Heart of Vecna, though typically only people within the cult of Vecna or those who are very versed in hunting them down would know that. Um, yeah, but then the why is our guild called, called the Heart if she's the Heart it's and we're the guild? The Heartless. The Heartless. Because no, but we the became heart. the Heartless because we lost the Heart, but we were a guild before that. Were you? Yeah, that's that's. <sighs> Or were you a cult that had to go into underground hiding and call themselves a guild to survive? Hey. <laughs> and we have, we, none of us knew any of this. Not out the gate. Looking back, you can see that there were certain activities that might be looked on as cultish. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. Certain gatherings, assemblies, and all of the higher ups, the high seeress, the guild leader. The guild leader is the only person still alive from when the guild was known as before the guild became known as the Heartless. All right, I need. I actually do need to know something because um, would would uh, the Raven Queen be upset <laughs> about this? Because that's the case, I'm going to have to die fighting this thing right now. The Raven Queen. Because I am. I am sold to the Raven Queen. I am a Shatterkai. I this 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 shit don't fly in front of the Raven Queen. I don't think. I don't know if the Raven Queen ever gave you powers. Dun, dun, dun. No, um, no, I, the, the I literally racial, am a Shatter racial. Kai. Yes. I literally hung out with her, okay? You that did. Yes. We are in Greyhawk, though, which the Raven Queen's influence isn't as strong here. Vecna is not back. You have not officially consorted with undead, just joined a cult. Uh... You can see no, the I Raven joined Queen. a guild. I did. I, I, my character did not join. <laughs> Unknowingly. A cult. Unknowingly joined. And, Look, people and accidentally joined cults the all Raven the time. Queen will not. I, I don't think she'll like this. I don't you think she will either. But she doesn't of the know mistake. right it's now. Fine. But I know, and I'm okay, an adherent yes. who gains powers from her that I actually cherish and desire. This is going to be really interesting. Isn't it? I know someone else that can grant powers like that. <laughs> that is. I, 
respect though. This is, I mean, literally, is... I think, honestly, I think Val has his bow, bow drawn and an arrow knocked, one of the magical arrows, and, and he is very close to pulling the trigger. Uh, Val, what you doing there, buddy? I I didn't sign up for this shit, boys. Um, my my queen won't take this. I'm pretty sure that's what we did. Oh. No, 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 no. <laughs> I am a mercenary, not a cultist. I already have a queen. I already have you know someone that gives me powers. I can't. This isn't Listen, my thing. I didn't catch your name, but you've done so much already that. I would release you from service to the Heartless, if that's what we're calling it these days. Cute name. Say what? You're gonna you can walk away if right now, if you'd like. You've brought me oh. my book and my pen. Which I'm still like mm -hmm. holding, holding to chest, kind of thing. Well, look, um, look, guys, I'm with her on that. Like, I don't really need to be here. I was in it for the money and the glory and the hanging around and seeing the world. Like, oh, the money and the glory. If you're into that, that is yet to come. What? There's more? Yes, oh, of course. I thought it was just you. Oh, no, I'm just the start. See, I'm, wor I'm working on bringing things back to how they once were. At what cost and how long? Oh, well, these things do take time, you understand. Uh, I found some promising leads, and I assume you cleared one of the towers to get here? I think I left my book tower. in the Gnarly Woods location. <laughs> I, well, you see, that is where we were. There's nine other towers that need to be checked in on and reactivated. Nine? There's nine other towers to be reactivated, and each one of those comes with their own reward. Usually there's some treasure and the like in there, but this one was specifically designed to hold my, my possessions while I was elsewhere for duration of time. Do you have anything to do with Nate the Great? Who? Okay, you don't. Hey Val, do you want to get some money in Glory Man, or are uh, you noping out of here for this? I think I'm going to have to go, boys and girls. I can't. No, I, I don't I don't abide by this. That's fair. This is what I do. Will there be ham? There most certainly can be, if that's what you desire. I'm there. <laughs> I'm kind of torn. This sounds like a pretty good deal. What are you going to do, Bryce? Um, so what's young what's, and aspiring wizard like yourself hey heart uh hot heart lady what's the catch oh the catch you already signed the paperwork for it darling you have to do things from time to time to usher in a new era the return of the undead king vecna no thank yes. you oh please he's mm. a delight undead king yeah the thing well, that literally king. my entire people are against every bit <laughs> of it Okay, see, that's where I'm getting a little fuzzy here. Oh, I'm not too darling, keen on that. He's not a king, he's a god. Mm. Technically, he's a, he's, a, he's a want to be god. He's not quite well, a god yet. By the time we're oh. done, he'll be a deity. Undead <laughs> deity god. Yeah, no, no. Never mind. I'm with you on this one, Val. I'm good. Oh, please. You don't want the glory that comes from being one of the deities chosen? Lady, I cried my heart out over a fallen tree. I ain't going to worship a dead guy. <laughs> Adorable. You should try it sometime. Oh, I'm good. I've tried a lot of things in my time. Has and I've lived for quite changed? a long time. Has Thorne's opinion changed? Or is he still... No? Hey. Okay. <laughs> ham. Yeah. Really, the question is, how fast do you offer him a ham? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and what was it? Bryce? I believe that's the name I called from your compatriot speaking to you. Young aspiring wizard like yourself. Well, who better to mentor you in wonderful wizardly powers? Thorn, if you stick the, with us. One of the grandest wizards himself. Thorn, if you stick with us, I'll give you half my pay for this trip just in ham. Half ham? <laughs> oh, whole ham. Half my pay's worth of ham. It's a lot of ham. Half whole ham? <laughs> A boat full of ham. Boat ham. Boat ham. <laughs> <laughs> how how far away is Roxy from us? Oh, like 15, 10, 15 feet. She's close. Okay. She descended down 
Very like whoosh, very cool. <laughs> um Just for clarity too, when we were sitting on this mission mission, it was to recover the heart? What yes, was the it was to retrieve the to find the heart. Find to, it. To then find what? and bring the heart back to usher in a new age of glory and power. That's it, we're just gonna have to destroy our entire guild. <laughs> this war against our guild, us us three. Unless Bryce joins us. Rex, I'll just nonchalantly walk over to a bookshelf, pull off a spell book. Oh. Bryce, we're gonna have He's to kill you. He's only the eighth level. <laughs> <laughs> Bryce's whole thing is power. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> Are you willing to split, though? Dark power or good power? Ham power or no power? Mm, I might even let you read this book with me. I, I think, I think, um... Bryce takes a minute to look at her companions. You can also note that. Say. And uh, yeah, she she's gonna walk over to Roxy and hand over the book and the necklace. Oh, Thank Bryce. you, darling. She clips on the necklace and you see a flash of red light followed by it going to its clear crystal state around her neck. Val, oh, Thorn, we should probably be leaving. Looks Thank a little you, powerful darling. here. I, of course. Bryce, nice knowing you. Nice adventuring. Uh, I'm tearing up my contract, lady. I'm done. I'm good. Oh, I'm it's been annulled. And she waves again, and your pendants fall to the floor. Cool. Bryce, I'll, I'll be seeing you, girl. Good luck, Bryce. <laughs> Call us if you need us. I'm feeling you won't. You won't today. see me, though. You won't see me ever again. And he just kind of disappears into the darkness. Hey, I'm. Uh Come on, Thorn. We'll get you your hand, man. Let's go. Boat ham. Boat ham. <laughs> yes. Big boat ham. <laughs> and Fi is going to start heading out just nonchalantly with Thorn. Okay. You head out nonchalantly. The spiders make another trail for you straight to the front door, which is kind of hanging off of its hinges a bit. You open up and you're somewhere on a cliffside somewhere. Ooh. Does Fi recognize any landmarks that are obvious? Mountain ranges, lakes, bodies of Give water, Give me a, a survival check. Ooh, I'm so survival oriented, let me tell you. Damn it, if only what's his name had stayed with me here. Val. <laughs> 17. 17? Um, you think you're somewhere. You, it's going to take you a few weeks to get back to the free city of Greyhawk or the guild. Uh, um, you got think weeks you to go, Thorn. To, to, uh, to about Nate the Great in a month or two, if you wanted to meet up with uh, in Verbabonk. No, I'm not going to Verbabonk. Um, Val, Val is just standing behind you. You didn't look behind uh, you. See, see. Oh, <laughs> geez, can, I do, can I do survival, too? Yes, you may. All right. Yeah, lowest stuff. I can roll is a 22, but... <laughs> Very nice. Gotta stop uh, but I got a 29. Very nice. Very nice indeed. You recognize that you are in the area of... To zoom in on my map. <laughs> Greyhawk's over there. The city of Greyhawk, you're currently over... Um, you are... You think you are near on the um, eastern half of the world. I don't see a map. Um, I'm pulling up a map um for myself. It's gonna take oh, okay. forever to load it up in there. But Greyhawk has like a freaking huge map. It's kind of ridiculous. Okay. Um, I didn't know if you were moving us to a map. We had actually no, had one. No. Okay. But you are you are on the other side of the world from whence you started. Is there a town nearby? You think you could get to a town in a couple of days? A day okay. Or two. If I, there, there's a town nearby that we could probably get to, maybe re resupply and figure out from there. Might be easier to head towards a port and sail around than it is to try and crowd. You're not far from land. a port, you, you know that. Yeah, much. I'm with you on that, Val. We should get to a port so I can get him a hand boat. Yeah, we need we need to get to a point. I'm probably going to have to head home for a while because uh, I gotta I gotta let the boss lady know what's going on. 
Yeah, this is a little dramatic change, but I'll probably be with Thorn here if you need to reach us. But, you know, we'll figure that out as we go. Yeah, I mean, we're unemployed now, and we didn't exactly get paid very well. You know, I should have killed that damn dragon and got the gold. <laughs> you know, I didn't see anything wrong with anything, and everything seemed legit. And then here we go, and then Bryce leaves us, and now she's like besties with the hot lady. <laughs> it's all right. You know how squishy she is. She's the easiest one to take out of those two. Yeah. She's got to see you to cast a spell, baby. It's easy for you to say. Clink, clink, that, clink. Yeah, well, that's why you stay in the other room and I take out my former best friend, all right? So don't don't give me any of this crap. You going in there to kill her? Is that what you're talking about? Not right now. Later. Not uh, right now. I want her, to, I want her to, to achieve her goal and feel happy about her life before I snuff it out. Oh, that's pretty dark, man. <laughs> I'm, I'm a shadow guy, okay? I live in the dark, all right? That's what oh, I do. Oh, okay, well, that's fair. I mean, I started out emo. I was happy. Now I'm real pissed off and sad, so I can be emo again. I'm just kind of let down. Like, I was, you know, this whole tower thing and Nate the Great. I mean, we owe him a lot of coconuts. <laughs> no, no. Bryce owes him Bryce a lot of coconuts. Him. Oh, that's fair. Ah. Yeah. We're off the hook. We're not going to have a great yeah. lurking behind us. But we need ham for hands. Thorn. He's looking like he lost a pound worth of ham weight in there. Yeah. <laughs> Come on, let's get going then. We'll get a port city and get some ham. Yeah, follow me this way. Let's go. All right, let's go. Or right. is it hmm? about Scrooge McNucking through hams. <laughs> <laughs> <Shoot. laughs> yes. a lot of hams. Yes. Uh, and as we cut on those three working their way down the switchbacks away from this old... Previously unoccupied, or at least unoccupied for a very long time, Tower. Working their way to... City. We cut back inside to Bryce. Where spiders have moved in two very comfortable looking uh, armchairs. A fire has been lit in a hearth. She goes, well... I'm glad you at least decided to stay. I'm feeling in a good mood otherwise. I don't think I would let them walk away, but... Y'all have done me such a good favor getting the first tower reactivated. I was gonna send you all to activate the rest of the towers, but I think I'll need... Well, some more loyal people. This does remind me, though. I think we're gonna have to go back to your guild. Where is it located? Uh, I... I Grace would know that. I don't like know two that. two days out of the, the, the city of Greyhawk. It is uh, on Diamond Lake. That's my mind. Diamond Lake. I it's, uh... Just outside of Greyhawk, a couple days. It's by Diamond Lake, oh, and uh, I need to go back anyway. I've got I've got experiments and stuff going on there. So phenomenal. Well, let's just, if you don't mind, spend a day or two poring over this book, and then we can head off. Aye, works for me. Wonderful. And she will crack open the book of vile darkness on the oh, table no. in front of you. <laughs> To begin to read. Yeah. Before heading back to the guild. When you do get back to the guild, guild master, um, Elian Viralay. Yes. I would have liked to, during that time, since she is the heart and she's technically our leader, mm -hmm. I would, Bryce would have asked and made an argument to be like second to her. Ooh. Like it's her and then me. <laughs> Interesting. She will she will think it give me a persuasion check. Oh Jesus. Oh uh, okay, I've got a decent persuasion. Oh, it was an eleven. Known as the little. And 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 I would I would, you know prompt it with you know i've been very loyal i've been i've done a lot for the guild i've mm -hmm. you know i'm the one who actually decided to give it to you because they certainly weren't going on okay give me you can roll with advantage okay thank you <laughs> thorn would have totally done it it's just that's better that's an 18 an 18 she says well Tell you what, I think your current guild master, from what you've told me, has done a fairly good job of keeping the guild, well, cult, as some people would call it, under wraps. I think he should stay in charge of that branch, but I do need someone to accompany me on my travels, a right-hand person, so to speak. Less in charge of one specific location and more on the move with me. 
to different planes, places, cities, things. I anything to gain more knowledge and more power, honestly. Oh, wonderful. I think we can definitely make that happen then. She'll close up the book after you help have poured out. She's attuned to it now, basically. Mm -hmm. um, she goes, ah, I've missed this. I was traveling in some place called Ravenloft for quite some time, and I didn't want to risk losing either of these items, as those domains can be very tricky. Terrible little demiplanes got trapped there for a while by a well, rather unlikable lich. Nothing compared to our great Lord Vecna. You'll have to tell me more about them. I don't... Everything I've ever heard has been negative, so I'd like to hear oh, the other side. I could tell you all about him. And she will. She will tell you um, all of the magnificent, wonderful, glorious things about Vecna and his pursuit of knowledge and secrets, and that your guild is actually, if they've been doing their job, a repository of secrets, and that you should gain access to all of the secrets that the guild has to offer. Yes. Um, since you'll be traveling with her, um, to reignite the flame of Vecna across the plains. You see, there's something someone's cooking up that's going to cause a big scene, a bit of a stir, so to speak. So it's not going to just affect one plane, it's going to affect several, in fact. Things are going to revert to a st I don't want to give too much away. But if they succeed, things are going to revert to a, quite an early state in the world's development. And people are not going to be happy about it. We are going to be able to be a light in that darkness. So, let's get some knowledge and yeah, bring back Vecna. I'm here to help. Wonderful! Now, if I remember correctly, after that whole incident with the terrible... Those four terrible adventurers. I think we need to make a little trip down south after we check in on your guild. How do you feel I mean, about the seaside? I, I love it. It's one of my favorite places. Wonderful. You're going to love where we're headed after the check in on your guild hall. Yeah. Perfect. And as you bring her to the Heartless, there is um a quiet... Restructuring? Of some no. of its members, as the heart has been re-obtained, re but they don't want to give themselves away just yet. Things are in the works. Quiet things. Big things. Very exciting things, Bryce. And the other three of you, Phytar, Thornbark, Dung, and Valandan. Phytar, Thornbark, Dung, you are able to get a kiddie pool, or a large, uh, you know, a wagon. You're able to find a wagon full of ham for Thorn to Scrooge McDuck through. For now. For now. I'll, I'll make good on my deal. I have a lot of gold. You promised a boat. I will get Boat's you a the boat. the next step. You take the, 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 step, ham, the ham wagon. This not the, the paddy teaser. wagon. The ham wagon down to the port where he will then find you a boat to, to ham, ham out on. Yes. And Val, you go to inform the Raven Queen. You have learned. Mm-hmm. And the Raven Queen... It's very interested in the things that you have overheard and learned. And I think that is where we're going to end it for tonight's session. Mm -hmm. On quest for the heart. Yay. Oh, we found the heart. <laughs> you did. You did. Surprise. Yay. The heart of lies. <laughs> I, I, Look, I was not expecting that twist. I was hoping none of y'all knew that the high priestess of Vecna was called the heart. Uh, not a fucking clue. Nope. And that the overlay for this campaign was the Book of Vile Darkness. Um, oh my god. <laughs> Didn't notice. I was, I was really hoping. <laughs> Not a damn clue. So, we're gonna go around, we're gonna say who we are, where we find you. I know we're ending a little early tonight, but I, I figured, it de depending on whether you fought the dragon or not, was going to depend on how long that would take. So, we're gonna go around who you, who, who you are, where we can find you, and favorite moments from tonight's game. We'll start off with Valandan the Faceless, who has gone to tattle to the Raven Queen, which the Raven Queen will be much appreciative of. Yeah, hi, Valandan the Faceless, the disappointed, very sad, back to emo, <laughs> ranger rogue, who's going to have to kill his best friend or die trying. So, yeah, that's, uh... 
I don't like daggers. They're supposed to be all hers, <laughs> not mine. I don't want daggers. Not okay, fine. Should have fought the damn dragon. <laughs> um, yeah, no, uh, Deception Check. If I'm here on Mondays playing um, the new batch, Mondays in Exandria. We were off last uh, night for a uh, you know, little little mental health break for everybody. Just to get a little, little rest. We had, I think, six weeks worth of games. We took a little break. Uh, we'll be back next week to finish up our, uh, our little visit up to the far north farbs. This should be fun uh, with our crazy crew of kids. And, uh, you know, Tuesday nights, I don't know what we're doing now. Uh, who great knows? great question. We'll figure it yeah, out. Yeah, we're, we're done with the heart, which this is a lot of fun. I really like the characters. I like the interaction. We kind of fell into a nice rhythm pretty quick uh, and got to play some high-level action. That was a lot of fun. Uh, I'm going to miss Val, um, but not the story. Um, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, and then occasionally on Saturdays, when we have our Aliens game, Hank Granger. He's, uh, he's a bit of a confused uh, bounty hunter himself, so... Uh, favorite part tonight? Um, I, honestly, I think Thorn uh, t- getting the kill on the on the undead minion and putting his head on immediately. It was that was a lot of fun. I enjoyed that. Thanks. Thank you. Hi, Tar. How was tonight for you? It was good. Favorite part was the twist. What the, the twist? What the yeah, twist? and and I like the idea of getting uh, Thorn motivated by Ham and about him. Ham about. I love his responses. Uh, anyways, yeah, Shiny Pot 206, Mondays, Tuesdays, and Aliens. I am here, and uh, that was fun. Thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you. Thorn Bark Dung, how was tonight for you? Oh, pretty good, pretty good. Yes, I am uh, Thorn Bark Dung. Uh, uh, D20 Coup de Gras. You can find me playing here on Mondays, Tuesdays, and sometimes on Saturdays. And you can find me on my channel playing GTA RP virtually every day. Um, let's see. I think my favorite part was also, but no, sorry. My favorite part was definitely the Roxy reveal. Completely <laughs> unexpected. Uh, loved it. Um, I also liked being um, bribed out of evil with. <laughs> Except the ham is mightier than the sword. The ham could be mightier than the sword. But uh, our chemist Bryce Delmore might argue that magic is the most powerful of them all. Yeah, yeah, that's definitely something she would argue. Um, I'm Nuggetosaurus. I play Arcanist Bryce Delmora, cultist of Vecna, <laughs> apparently. High-ranking um, cultist of Vecna now. High-ranking, yeah. Oof, Priestess's so right-hand I'm... lady. I'm so excited. Um, you can find me here on Mondays and Tuesdays playing in our various Dungeons and Dragons games. You can also find me here on Wednesdays playing in our Good Society game. I unfortunately missed last week because my power decided to go out. But I will be back this week. Hopefully there's no storms again. Fingers crossed. Um, and the occasional Saturday when we play Aliens. Um, my favorite part was the reveal that I just... I had no fucking clue, not a single clue. And and I really liked the opportunity. I like that she gave us a choice and because Bryce would not want to give up her position in the guild that she has worked basically her entire adult life to gain. So having the choice to join was very nice and she took it obviously. So I'm, I'm very excited to see what the heck is going on in the overworld in this because apparently Vecna's coming back. We'll, uh, yeah, we'll see what's well, going on. Fingers there. crossed he's coming. Well, well you only get one right now because yeah. he's still. Well, she has one both hand. hands, technically, so he's got. She does. Cross fingers, but you know. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> Wonderful. So, my favorite parts was finally getting to make. I thought of that twist, and I was like, I need to make a campaign for this now. Um, throwing out all of the flags that this is kind of a cult with the overlay and your little cult emblem is the Greyhawk symbol for Vecna, but except instead of a heart, it's the eye. Um, and then the heart being the high priestess of Vecna. Wasn't sure if any of you knew that knowledge, um, but I had a blast coming up with this adventure and finding this fun tower, um, super fun tower. I actually thoroughly enjoyed the tower uh, adventure on the DM's, gil- DM's Guild. Um, it's called the Mage Tower, if you want to look for it. It's got 10 levels, it's scalable from level 1 to level 20. Um, 
it was super enjoyable. I'm very glad. I loved y'all killing the giant and y'all deciding not to murder the dragon. That was, I wasn't sure if you were going to go in, guns and if you're all just going to walk in noisily and wake him up, but you managed to do the stealth approach and I thought that was very, very interesting and I liked it a lot. And, and as much as I wanted to throw an ancient black dragon at you and battle you all with it, um, you know, he's just having a nap. He's just having a good little nap and I'm glad you guys let him sleep. So, thank you all so much for watching and for playing. Um, Tune in next week for something super fun uh, that's not Quest for the Heart, because they found it. Uh, <laughs> uh, until next time, have fun and play games. Oh wait, tomorrow night's also good society. Tune in for that. Bye! <laughs>